Pop that open. This was the first ESR rap. What's going on guys? Brian ESR here in Hillsboro, New Jersey, delivering a pie to Dynamic Performance. I saw on Instagram, they've got a lot of projects that they've been working on. So I hit up Orlando. He said, come through. So I picked up a pie at Ama Pizza. Let's go bring it inside and see what they're working on. Hey, uh, pizza delivery. Oh, hey. <laughs> What's going on guys? Yo, this is the first time I ever got a pizza in a round box. Let's check it out. This is so. This is from Ama Pizza down the street. Ooh. Actually, Rolando, can you it's pop that open? Let's see. Oh. Oh wow. Yeah, that looked wow, good. good. Yeah. All right. This looks good. Yeah. Before we eat that though, it's getting dark. Uh -huh. There's that Integra outside. Want to look at it? Yeah, yeah. Let's go check let's that go. out. <laughs> looks like a serious build. So everything out here still needs to get worked on. Everything you see here is getting something done, yes. You got a lot of work on your hands. Yes, I need a bigger shop and I need more employees. All right, let's yeah, see. This is uh, one of our friends from New York. He's gonna start with 950 index. Okay. His dream is to beat the H22 record. Okay, Let, let's talk about the motor because this is very unusual to see a fully built H series. Correct. So Correct. that's pretty cool. What's the story behind that? Why, why is it H series? I mean, everybody usually goes B or K. Uh, he's a really fan of the H22. The H Integra. comes from the Prelude. Correct. So did you guys do the entire build top to bottom? Correct. Correct. Yeah, we did the cage. We did the inner cooler, custom, custom manifold. Uh, yeah, pretty much all the fabrication is done. Grafted will figure the uh, PDM. Uh, it's going to paint. So everything except bodywork, Dynamic Performance can do it. Yes, for, sir. for anybody who doesn't know what Dynamic Performance does, give them a quick rundown of what you guys are capable of doing here. Yeah, we do fabrication pretty much from a small Swerpa all the way to a 25-5 cage. Only for Hondas? We can do any cars. Evos, we've done Evos, Supras, Subarus. Uh, I see right now a majority of the lot is majority Honda. Is this correct. a Honda shop or what would you, how would you define most, the shop? For the most cases we do a lot of Hondas like you, as you see, but we can do anything. Let's talk about more about this motor right here. I mean, you got a massive turbo. That's a um, bull size 72 millimeter custom turbo. Everything custom fabricated right here. Everything and I like you, fabricated. you got the DP logo. Yeah, we made that manifold from scratch. Uh, as you see, we have to notch the frame a little bit to get the turbo to fit. Uh, What's going on on the interior? You guys did the full cage too? Yeah, we did a 10 point on this, which is probably going to be, it's going to break start pretty quick. But... So he's going to need to upgrade to the 25.5? Yes, yes. How come he didn't just do that from scratch? Because like I said, he wanted to run 950 index and then the bill went from 950 index to what it is now. So <laughs> <laughs> he originally thought 950, yes. then now it looks like it's going to be like a mid eight second car. Correct. This setup is uh, unique. It's gonna run the FuelTech FT600. Take this off with a, a PDM box. So this car has no relays. Let's go inside because there's some cool projects that yeah, I've seen go. going on in there. I also, you know what I also got? We just finished that blue, the that SR? blue Civic SI. We did a, a GSR swap, but like from top to bottom, we built the motor and that thing looks like it's brand new. Let me see. Hey, I like your hoodie, by the way. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go check it out. You're gonna like this car. So, for those people who don't know, the Civic Si originally comes with a B16A. 1.6 liters, yeah. And they swapped in a B18C. Fully built. It's like pistons, rods, but like factory. The guy wants everything factory. So it's interesting. Uh, he wants everything factory, but went from the B16 to the B18. Yes, and then we build the motor from top to bottom. Commercial break, check out eatsleeprace.com. We've got a whole collection for men's ladies and kids, snapbacks, fitteds. Check out the men's t-shirt section. We added a bunch of new designs like these support your local speed shop tees. And check out the Fast Kids Club section for our ABC book and our one, two, three board book. And these cars in the Electron Blue are getting rarer and rarer. Rare. Look at this thing. Yeah. He got a Toda headers, custom headers. The only thing we took off, it was the AC because it was a full full side radiator so this is a nice street build yes this is not going to be a full race car looks like uh alan's working on a parachute right here yeah. is that why this car is here just for yeah. the yeah. shoot okay the parachute install because you know it happens higher speeds now how, how, how fast does this car go he's been 927 at 148 927 all motor yeah that's some serious yeah. that's some serious b series b series, b -series. B -series. B -series. B -series. too wow this is impressive yeah 
This is the shop car right here. Yeah, yeah, this is the shop car. Sport front wheel drive. What's the fastest that you got in it? Uh, with this car, we've been 819. 819 at uh, how many miles per hour? What was it, 187? You went from AEM to Motec. Correct. So now DP does Fuel Tech, Motec, and AEM. Correct. Finishing the wiring. We also do the PDM on this car, Motec PDM. And uh, we start already on the wire, the chassis harness, all that stuff. Uh, B18, uh, two all liters, GSR head, 73.9 millimeter turbo, uh, external coils, uh, mechanical fuel pump, and a PPG trans. You guys have been racing this car and this setup for how many years? Oh, we have this car since we start. 16 years. 16 years you've been yeah. racing this car. Yeah. How many motor changes have you done? On this car for si in 16 years? Yeah. Ooh, I gotta say probably 50 plus. <laughs> no. No, probably more than that. For real? Yeah. Outside of just working on individual cars, you guys make your own parts that you sell to other shops All as right. well. We gotta talk about Alan because Alan is the head fabricator here at the shop. This is my whole other area. <laughs> so everything that we're about to see, everything gets made right over here. Yep. What do we got going on on the table right here? This is this okay. is these are all the parts that you guys station. brand as dynamic performance, right? Correct. So this is part of our product line. We have uh, all wheel drive uh, 5.8 gallon uh, fuel cells, which man in the stock location for the Civics and Tigers. Um, you know, it's been very popular lately. So we sell a lot of those. Uh, these are the front mount uh, fuel cells that go behind the bumpers on the drag cars. Um, we sell a lot of those too. They're 2.2 gallons. Uh, the Scottish is one of our most popular products. Um, these, uh, you know, we have them available for B, ser uh, B series and K series. Um, you know, protect the flywheel from flying off the cars. Uh, these are basically a, a support for the engine. Uh, B series and K series to keep uh, keep the engine locked in from you know tilting backwards. So a lot of people are having issues mis shifting and and you know just engine movement. Period. This fixes a lot of that. And then over here we have a viscous coupler mount kit that we came up with for the oval drive guys with um, the wagon uh, viscous coupler. So this mount this actually welds up to the chassis. Uh, and then we have pre-drilled bra uh, brackets and stuff so you can literally tuck up your hibiscus coupler. This is designed to clear it so you can take it on and off with ease. Uh, if you have to service your dry shaft, take your engine out, with whichever. And it actually is super strong. And all these parts could be bought on your website? dpraceparts.com. Right here, dpraceparts.com. All these parts are on the shelf, ready to ship, right? Ready to ship. The problem with us is it's only one man show. Right for right now, we're looking for a fabricator, actually. If we got any fabricators watching, DM DP yeah, Race Parts right here. They could use your help. Full time. Inventory room right over here. Stock room, shipping room. Correct. Engine off. room right here. The guys are prepping the engine to be built. And this is my office. It's a little messy. Now let's look at this pizza again. Pizza's pretty good, though. You took your bite. Oh, yeah. Good? Good stuff? Break Absolutely. over, dude. It's cold, but it's good. It's really good. You know, I, I really got to get one of those pizza bags so I could keep them warm. You know what I'm saying? Like the real Very, deal yeah. pizza delivery guy. Mm -hmm. Hey, cold pizza tastes also good. Oh, yeah. I ain't complaining. The reason why this pizza is flimsy and burnt, but yet doughy, it's a Neapolitan style pizza. It's got a lot of flop. Mm -hmm. Usually if it's got flop, I don't like it, but. No, it's good. It's like different type of bread. Yeah, this yeah. is legit. Check them out. I'm a pizza Hillsboro. All right, just as impressive as the pizza was, I'm impressed that they put it in a circle box. This is the first time I've seen a pizza in a circle box. 